Hey, this is Professor Perez again. Today, we're going to do more applications of percent, more specifically, sales tax and commission rates. All right, but before we get started, we got to get Charlie out. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. All right, you better be. Okay, here we go, right there. Sales tax, Charlie. Now, remember this. The amount of sales tax is a percentage of the purchase price. And the purchase price is the price that you see on the price tag. Okay, now let's go back to our regular format. The percent of a total is a portion. Now in this problem, Charlie, percent is gonna be percent tax times the total, which is your purchase price. And our portion is the amount of sales tax. So remember, this amount of sales tax is a portion of the purchase price. Okay, now, so some people tend to remember it this way. The amount of sales tax is simply the percent tax times the purchase price. So basically, if you know what the tax rate is or the percent tax, you just take the percent tax and multiply it by the purchase price, which is the price on the price tag, and that will give you the amount of sales tax. So that's the format we're going to use in today's lecture, Charlie. Okay, the amount of sales tax is calculated by taking the percent tax times the purchase price. Okay, so there's our format. Now watch, here it is at a word statement. Again, the amount of sales tax is a percentage of the purchase price, right? So keep that in mind. All right, Charlie, you got that down? All right, here's our first problem right there. Okay, don't get scared. A person purchases a television for $749.99. The sales tax rate is 8.25%. What is the sales tax amount? Okay, so here's our format. The amount of sales tax is equal to the percent tax times the purchase price, okay? Now, which one are we looking for, Charlie? The amount of sales tax, okay. And so the amount of sales tax is our X. What's our percent tax as a decimal? 0 0.8, 0 0.0825, you move it two places to the left, right? Okay, and what's our purchase price? 749.99. Very nice, and so to solve for X, you just multiply, and what do you get, Charlie? 61.87. 61.87, and that means the amount of sales tax for this television at the tax rate of 8.25% is $61.87. Very nice there, Charlie. Let's do another one. Here we go. The total price paid for a refrigerator is $1,244.85. The price tag indicates a purchase price of $1,158. What is the sales tax rate? So here, we're looking for the percentage. You got that, Charlie? Okay. So here's our equation, the amount of sales tax is equal to the percent tax times the purchase price, right? Now, in this problem, we do not know the amount of sales tax. We were given the purchase price, the price on the price tag, and the amount that was paid at the cash register. And remember, at the cash register, Charlie, you pay the purchase price plus the amount of tax, right? So in order for us to calculate the amount of tax we must take the difference of the total that was paid at the cash register and the purchase price. Okay, so how much was paid at the cash register, Charlie? 1,244. Okay, from that, we're gonna subtract $1,158, and we get what? 86.85. That's right. Now, that right there is the amount of tax. All right, so now, let's come back to our equation. Our amount of tax is 86.85, and that must equal the percent tax as a decimal, right? And that's what we're trying to find, so that will be our X. And what is our purchase price, Charlie? 1,185. That's right. Now, so our equation is 86.85 is equal to 1,158.00X, right? Okay, now how do we solve this, Charlie? Divide both sides. That's right. Now, it cancels out right there. Now. On the left-hand side, Charlie, what's this quotient? 0.075. 
Very nice. And that's equal to our X. Remember, X represents the percent tax. Now, how do we change that decimal to a percent? Right, twice. That's right. And so our answer is what, Charlie? 7.5%. Very nice, 7.5%. That was a good one. All right, now let's do another one, Charlie. Okay. Now, in this problem, we're going to do the amount of commission. Okay. But very similar to the sales tax. The amount of commission is equal to the percent commission times the total sales. And that's our format. Because the amount of commission is a percentage of the total sales, right? So keep this in mind, Charlie, watch. The amount of commission is a percentage of the total sales. So that will help you remember that equation. All right, Charlie, so here we go. A salesperson sells. $3,512.23 worth of furniture in one week. It's a lot of furniture for that week. Her commission rate is 18%. How much commission did she earn? Okay, and here's our format. The amount of commission is equal to the percent commission times the total sales. Now, which one are we looking for, Charlie? Amount of commission, the amount of commission. How much did she get? Okay, so that will be our X. What's our percent commission as a decimal? 0.18. That's right. What's our total sales? 3,512.23 cents. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, so to calculate X, you just got to multiply. And what do you get, Charlie, when you multiply 0.18 times 3,512 dollars and 23 cents? 632.20. Very nice there, Charlie. So her commission earned was 632 dollars and 20 cents. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, let's do another one. A sales clerk has a certain commission rate. A recent paycheck showed the amount of commission earned was $985.23. The total sales clerk, total sales for the clerk during this pay period is $6,568.20. What is the commission rate? Okay, Charlie, here we're looking for the commission rate, so we're looking for the percentage. Okay, so there is our format. Remember, we're looking for the commission rate. So, what's the amount of commission, Charlie? 985.23. Okay, and since we're looking for the percent commission, that's our X. What was our total sales? $6,568.20. Very nice. And so, $985.23 is equal to 6,568.20x, right? How do we solve this, Charlie? Divide both sides by 6,568. Okay. Right-hand side, those cancel. Now, what's this quotient here? 0.15. Very nice there, Charlie. And that equals x. Now, remember, x represents the percent commission. So how do we change that decimal to a percent? We write twice. That's right, and we get 15%. Very nice there, Charlie. Whew. Oh, what fun. Let's take a break. We'll see you all again soon.